On today's episode of Auto Mower Answers, we explain what the weather timer feature is, and we also discuss whether or not an auto mower can tell if it's raining. This has been a question that we have seen quite a bit. It's a little bit confusing, and this picture right here is part of the reason why. This is a picture that's used in a lot of Husqvarna's advertisements, and they get to talking about the weather timer, and people associate this with the weather timer meaning something to do with the mower knowing that it's raining. So we're going to go through all this, and we're going to explain what the weather timer really does, and we're going to explain a little bit to you about what happens when it's raining outside and the mower is mowing. When you want to learn something about a product, the best place to start is the technical manual. And right here is what the technical manual has to say about the weather timer. If the weather timer function is enabled, the mower will adapt the mow time to the growth of the grass. This is achieved with resistance of the cutting disc continually being measured and compared with an average value. If there is more resistance than the average value, then the mower is allowed to work longer and vice versa. It takes 24 hours of mowing before an average value can be attained. The weather timer will not differentiate between any cutting times during this period. The average value is reset if the mower has been shut down for more than 50 hours, the settings have been reset, or if the cutting height is adjusted. Manual timer settings always have priority over the weather timer, and the mower is never allowed to mow more than the set times with the mower timer, only less. The mower will always complete at least one cutting cycle per 24-hour period, and only then will the cutting time be limited according to the weather timer. So what this means is you turn the weather timer feature on. The mower will mow for about 24 hours to get some accurate measurements of the resistance it feels against the cutting disc, which is where the blades are located on the mower. This means if there is tall, thick, heavy grass, the mower will feel more resistance than if there is no grass or just light grass. If the mower feels there is a heavy resistance on that cutting disc when the weather timer feature is on and it goes out there to mow the grass, it will continue mowing until it feels light to no resistance at all. This way it knows that it has gotten all the tall and thick grass and it has done its job. If the mower goes out to mow and it feels no resistance, the mower will check around for a few minutes and then if it does not find a spot where it feels significant resistance to start mowing, it will return to the charging station. It will then wait until it's time to go out again and it will go to the area that is next scheduled to mow and it will do the same thing again. If it feels the resistance of the cutting disc, it will start mowing. If it feels no resistance, it goes back to the charging station and will dock there. Now, if you have a timer set, the mower will only come out to do this when the time is up on the timer for it to come out to mow. It's not just going to come out randomly unless you have it set to 24-7. Then it will just take care of mowing the lawn on its own and figuring out when it needs to mow and if it needs to mow. The other thing you can do is you can adjust the spiral cut settings to high. So if the mower does go out and it does have just some random thick patches like you would get in the early spring or uh, later on in the summer, the mower will take down these heavy patches with the spiral cutting method. And then after that, it will know whether or not it needs to come out and mow again when it comes back out to that area. It will save a lot of time and the mower will be more efficient because it won't just be out there driving around randomly looking for grass to mow if there is nothing to mow. Where this feature comes in handy is if you're one of those people that's not sure how often your mower should be out there mowing. If you're not sure if it should be out there every day or only a couple hours a day or every other day or something like that, just turn on the weather timer, set the setting to high. That way when the mower decides to go out or when it's time for it to go out, it will go out there, it will check an area, it will know whether or not it needs to mow or if it needs to just come back to the charging station and wait. If it comes back to the charging station, like we said, it will go back out later on and check another area. So what you can do is you can either use the, the GPS navigation for the mowing or you can have your set areas, you know, your different zones to mow. If you have the different zones set up and you have your percentages of time that the mower is supposed to go there, when it comes out of the charging station, it will go to the zone it's supposed to go at that time. If it doesn't need to mow, it comes back to the charging station, it waits, and then it will go back out again later to the next zone it was scheduled to go to. 
Same way with GPS mowing. If the mower knows that it's already mowed a part of the yard and next time it comes out, it's going to, you know, the other side of your house or something like that, it will follow that same routine. That whole algorithm that it has developed as far as where it's going when it comes out of the charging station will not be interrupted by the weather timer. It will just go out and check at that area that it was already planning on mowing. If it needs mowed, it will mow it. If it doesn't, it will come back. The easiest way to turn on the weather timer and make your adjustments is by using the Automower Connect app on your phone. Just go under Operation. You'll see Spiral Cutting. You'll see Weather Timer down at the bottom. Turn on the Weather Timer. Turn on Spiral Cutting. Like we said, increase your sensitivity for Spiral Cutting. And you can set the Weather Timer to whatever you feel you would want it to be set at. Um, if you set it to high, that means when it goes out there to search, it's going to look for a longer time. And all that is explained right there on the app. It makes it really easy to use and re really easy to understand what your mower is actually doing. So now the second part of this question, does the mower actually know when it's raining and go home if it's raining too hard? The answer to that is a simple one. No, it does not know it's raining. No, it doesn't just automatically go home on its own if it's raining too hard. The confusion about this comes straight from the Husqvarna website under their facts section about the auto mower. Here you can see where it says rain or shine, and here it says, what if it rains? And underneath that they have, yes, auto mower is designed to withstand wet, rainy weather. In fact, your auto mower will continue cutting in dew or light rain. If the downpour becomes too much, the unit will head back to the recharging station. However, we do recommend you bring the mower inside during extreme weather conditions. The part about the mower going back to the charging station is false. I know this firsthand. I have tried this myself and I have had many, many, many auto mowers apart and I can tell you there is no sensor in there that will let this thing know if it is raining. Nothing at all. The other thing I know is I have seen one of these mowers run into a deep puddle higher than what is recommended and it was set up to where it had the uh, spiral cut mode turned on and the intensity was set to high. The mower went into the puddle. It was getting wet, of course, just like it would if it was raining. And because the spiral cutting intensity was set to high, the mower went into the puddle and started going into a spiral cut. True story. I had a sales rep there with me. We watched it happen multiple times on this guy's property. Um, it is not going to go back to the charging station just because it is raining. The only way it's going to go back here is if you tell it to go back there. That is the only way when it is raining that it will know to go back to that charging station. I've also had many of them out in the rain. Light rain, you know, a little drizzle here and there, some, you know, regular rain, and then some really, really hefty downpours. I even had some out there when it was snowing just to see what they would do. I've tried and tried and tried, and I can tell you firsthand, 100%, there is nothing on these mowers that will make them go home if it is raining. That statement is false. Now, what happens if it's raining and your mower's out there mowing? It's just going to keep on mowing. It might get stuck in a puddle. It might slide down some hills, stuff like that. It's in your best interest, though, to not have it out there while it's raining because if the grass is wet, it's going to cake up your mower blades and they're going to get dull faster. So what do you do if it is raining and your mower is out mowing? Very simple. You pull out your phone, you open up your Automower Connect app, and you tell it to go park. That way you don't take any chances of the mower getting caught in any puddles or anything like that. Now, if it's just a little drizzle and you want to let it keep mowing, go for it. But if it's a heavy downpour like you just saw in our video there, you'd probably want to park it. Um, as you just saw here in this video of this mower mowing around, there's a huge drainage ditch that this mower mows around. So if it rains, a nice heavy rain, and the water starts flowing through there, this mower is going to be stuck in that, in that ditch or where that water is running out of that pipe and overflowing from the, the area where it's supposed to drain through at. This happens a lot in certain areas or developments or um, certain neighborhoods. If you're that lucky guy you know, where you've got the, the drain pipe out there in your driveway or uh, out in your yard somewhere, you don't want to have this mower out there anywhere near that. Don't take any chances with it. Just tell it to go park. Wait till the storm's over. Let it get back out and mow after that. So we hope this helped clear up some of your questions you might have had about what the weather timer really is, what it does, how it works. 
And the big question of does an auto mower know when it's raining or does it know if it's raining too hard and it needs to stop mowing? Um, hopefully you guys have a little bit better understanding now of how this works. If you have any more questions, just leave us a comment below or you can send an email, automowerinfo at gmail.com. Be sure to subscribe and keep checking back as we put out more videos constantly as more questions come in. Thanks for watching.